Hey, honey fish. It's the 17th of August, 2018. And this is, uh, this is like a continuation from the other day. Remember, uh, the, the bridge collapse, the big explosion and the Arch of Titus connections there, the 9-11-119. Well, this is crazy, but they had this earthquake in Italy yesterday. It wasn't huge, and it didn't hurt people, which is great. But nonetheless, it's crazy because, first off, it was a 5.3, okay? Isaiah 53, that 53 is just engraved everywhere I go. It, I'm serious. It just will not leave my attention. You know what I mean? So that's important. You know, who hath believed our report, right? And so I see that and it caused me immediately, you know, just because of what I was doing the other day to go to the map, of course. And I, I grabbed the coordinates and this is exactly where that earthquake happened, right? Right here. It's in this farmland, which is good, right? But there's where it happened. You can get the coordinates anywhere. And so I've been going from this Arch of Titus to all these disasters, right? And this one, this first one here was 191 miles to this giant explosion they had there in uh, Bologna there. Remember that? I mean, that was absolutely off the hook. Look at that thing. It was a huge explosion. And that's where that happened right there. 191 miles, a 9-11. And then a few days later, well, it was like a week later, eight days later, they had the big giant bridge collapse in um, Genoa, which is just unbelievable, man. That is crazy. And it, it, it was exactly 119 miles from the giant explosion. And then, of course, we went, I mean, this was just uh, something that came into my spirit going to this place where the Arch of Baal uh, rested for however long it was there. But it was the last place that I could find that it was in its, you know, tour of the world for that year. It just, it ended there. And it was 92 nine miles to that. Which, you know, you create a double 9-11 out of that. So the 9-11 stuff is just, it's off the hook crazy, you guys. Because this earthquake, to, to exactly to the Arch of Titus. I mean, this is no, no messing around here. I mean, this cannot be explained any other way than, you know, the hand of God is over all things. But this is just bizarre. That's all I can really say. That Arch of Titus, that's that, right there. That line right there, it goes to that earthquake, right? That's exactly where it goes. I mean, really, this is this is the kind of stuff that I, I can't explain a lot of this stuff. That's this line right here. Look at this. I mean, just seriously, think about this. It's 119 miles. Exactly. I mean, seriously, you guys, that is, what do, you, what do you even make of that? You know what I mean? 119, 191, and 119 for these, you know, man-made and natural or just plain disasters. And that, I mean, that's crazy. And, and what really is nuts is I'm looking at this and I'm noticing this line here as I was drawing it. Now, I'll put another one here just to illustrate to you what I mean. If you go parallel along this line, you'll see that the heading of it is 88 degrees, right? 88. And just prior to this, uh, the, this earthquake coming into my, you know, attention here, I was looking at this power outage that was at the national airport a couple days ago this this should not happen there should be multiple multiple fail safes for the capital of the united states international airport to not lose its power i mean and the place went completely dark but my point is is they tell you all over the place that it, it went out at at 9 45 and it came back on at 11.13. That's exactly 88 minutes. And that's what reminded me of that, was this was 88 degrees. But it didn't stop there. The 
I'm just prompted in my spirit to go into the Bible and look at a couple of books, chapter 11, 13, and this is no kidding. The first book I chose to look in was Revelation 11, 13. And look what the very first line is. In the same hour was there a great earthquake. Okay, so I see this earthquake, this 5.353 earthquake in Italy, exactly 119 miles from the Arch of Titus to continue this crazy pattern. It's at 88 degrees, and then I'm thinking of this airport that, I mean, this is nuts. 88 minutes exactly and at 11 13 and in, in revelation 11 13 there's a great earthquake and of course that's jerusalem after the two witnesses but this all ties together i mean i can just see it and understand it in my spirit but boy i can't tell you exactly what it all means i just know that god is over all things everything is under his control and if you're in christ jesus all this type of stuff it's not confusing or scary or anything like that it's like it's like going to a treasure hunt really and you know god just leads you and he just gives you that peace and when you're searching out the truth he gives it to you this is all truth i just don't know how to fit the pieces into the big puzzle and give you a proper presentation about what it means but it certainly means something. There is no way around that. And so, you know, as usual, I got to share this. I mean, this is just too uh, crazy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, really. And this airport thing, really, I, I don't know. I, I'm halfway between. Was it like a message being sent to uh, one of the uh, warring parties in this, you know, dark secret government war that's going on essentially i mean bottom line is they pretty much all serve the same master if they're not proclaiming christ jesus as their one and only king and savior then their house is divided obviously and it will fall so don't fall with it go to jesus call on him with a sincere and humble heart and he'll answer you and he'll show you the truth and he'll comfort you and you are sealed. I'm just telling you that's how it works. So, you know, once again, you know, I have to share this stuff. That that right there is crazy to me. And and I know it continues. There's there's more to come. There's no doubt about it. There's more to come. And we'll just have to wait and see what the Father gives us. We keep searching, we keep seeking, we keep praying, and we keep looking up, right? So peace and grace to you all. I had to show that. Be more on this. I am certain of it. <laughs> Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 